The Den Recommend. Here's a really cool book I like. It's called A Woman, An Intimate Geography by Natalie Anger. Her investigation into female physiology draws inspiration not only from scientific and medical sources, but also from mythology, history, art, and literature. She uses a really humorous style of writing and discusses topics such as ovulation, conception, and birth, the social and physiological functions of breasts, orgasm, mate selection, and child rearing behavior, the complex workings of estrogen, hysterectomy, muscle strength, and female aggression and bonding. It's entertaining, educational, and clever. And to conclude this session by taking us full circle, back to multiples, here's a quote from a woman I spoke with describing her experiences. I can really only do it with a vibrator. So maybe when I'm alone or when I'm with my partner, depending on how into it I am and how well I can concentrate and what else is being stimulated, that determines how long the first orgasm will take, two minutes or 20 minutes. But then after that, I take the vibrator away for about 20 to 30 seconds or so and then start to move it around again on my clitoris. And the second one totally rocks. It usually comes quickly with a sweet buildup and just seems more intense. Then I can take short breaks and then use the vibrator again and do this over and over and over again to the point where I feel buildups and some release but not really orgasm contractions anymore. I can enjoyably pass away an afternoon like this. So if you want to write to me about multiple O's, visit me at drjensden.com. <laughs> <laughs>